Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Atlas Brushless 18 inch cordless chainsaw from Harbor Freight. This is their big boy and just brand new release. And I wanted to kind of go through and check this thing out. Also, um, I've got the 40 volt, which you should have seen that video before this one, but uh, if you haven't, go back and check that out. But this pretty much is gonna be our first look and overview of this chainsaw and it's going to be the start to a whole series of putting these battery powered chainsaws to the test. Harbor Freight is actually claiming for these to be commercial grade and we're going to take them out and use them uh, and you know put them to the test and find out whether they're going to hold up to that kind of stuff. So I cut a lot of firewood and this one's actually supposed to be compared to a 50cc gas chainsaw and anybody knows that you don't use a 50cc gas chainsaw to cut a 4x4. Four four. And, you know, a lot of these ratings and stuff, that's what they rate them at to make so many cuts in a 4x4 four four post. You know, but why have an 18-inch chainsaw to do that when you could do that with a real small one? And they're advertising these, like I say, as their commercial grade of power tools or battery-powered power tools. So we're going to put them to the test. And... Actually, this weekend will probably be the first test of uh, really trying out this 18 inch because I've got a nice size oak tree that I'm gonna cut down and saw it all up. And we're gonna see how long the battery will last, see if it'll get through, or even if it'll cut the tree down. It's a pretty good sized tree. So we're gonna try it out and really put it to the test. Plus probably over the next year, then we're gonna use it probably uh, for probably 75% of our cutting. The only things that we won't use the battery saws for is if we need something where it's going to be going maybe all day long and, you know, uh, where you just can't keep, or, you know, we're not somewhere where we can recharge batteries or something like that. So for the most part, though, this is going to be, and our 40 volt are going to be our main two saws, and it's to replace our... 34 cc gas chainsaw and to replace our 60 cc which you know it's not going to replace the 60 cc but i'm going to see how much i can actually use this in place of something like that and see if maybe there's a is there a place for a battery saw in with all these gas counterparts so anyways guys let's get in here and open this thing up and check it out So just like our 40 volt, uh, this saw did come with a small bottle of bar and chain oil. This isn't enough to fill up the reservoir, but it's a good start. At least you can, you know, try out your saw like whenever it comes in. You can at least put this in there and get to try it out. Plus, it does have the scrunch so that you can adjust your chain tension. Of course, we've got our tag saying that you've got to put oil in it before you use it. The first impressions of this, it actually, it feels, you know, pretty heavy. And, you know, it seems to be, uh, the, only, the only part that feels kind of cheap, again, is the handle itself. Because this is just kind of like a, a hard plastic. Uh, so I'm not real impressed with that. But now, back here on your right hand, your trigger hand, you know, it does have like a rubberized grip there and it does feel pretty good. So I do, I do kind of like that. Uh, it does have your chain brake. And then it has your standard two nut chain adjustment. Kind of just standard way that, you know, even all your gas chainsaws and everything typically have this type of adjustment. It's got the two nuts on it and it looks like, not sure, I'll have to check, but they might be captured nuts so that you can't lose them. Yeah, that's actually really cool. These are captured nuts so that when you take them loose, you don't have to worry about losing them on the ground or anything, which that's actually a really handy thing that I wish they'd definitely put on a lot more of like your gas saws and stuff because, I mean, you drop them things all the time. You're out in the field somewhere and you take them loose and you drop it and then there you have it. You might lose one, but I really like that. Also, it's kind of got like a little 
washer that goes around here and i'm sure that's kind of like a little chain guide that way if it does get loosened up it doesn't kick off the sprocket nearly as easy so we're going to go ahead and put our 80 volt battery in and again this is the uh, dual voltage 40 volt it's a 5 amp hour and at 80 volts it's 2.5 amp hour So it looks like, too, there's just a little bit of room in behind the battery. Um, I kind of wonder if that maybe they're thinking leaving a little room maybe for a little bit bigger battery at some point. But it does take up most of the compartment. So let's take this thing out and try it out a few cuts and see how it does. So one thing I forgot to mention about this, too, is that uh, the 40 volt version of it has no variable speed trigger. Whereas this 80 volt version, it does. If you squeeze the trigger a little, it'll go slow. And then the, of course, the harder you pull it, then the faster it goes. Now, this isn't really a comparison video and that's, I don't mean to keep comparing, but that's just the first things I've noticed on it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow along with us too, because I am gonna have a comparison video of the 80 volt to the 40 volt and you know, like run times and all that kind of stuff because you know, like the 40 volt, this battery is a five amp hour. Well, in this 80 volt, it's only two and a half. So we kind of compare, uh, you know, the run times and all that kind of stuff. Plus the difference in the way that they run. I know that based on specifications that, you know, the chain speed and all that kind of stuff is actually double on this one is what it is on the 40 volt. So it'd be interesting to see how that affects how they cut and, you know, how that they uh, do about, you know, whether you're cutting a tree or whatever. So anyways, stay tuned for all that. Let's get in here and just cut a few pieces of wood and see how this thing does.
So guys, there you have it. The first look at our 80 volt Atlas brushless 18 inch chainsaw from Harbor Freight. And you know what? I can honestly say again with this one, I'm pretty impressed so far. Um, this piece of wood that we're sitting here cutting, that is a good uh, 12 inch piece of wood and it'll just rip right through that. The only thing that I can say that I may or may not be uh, happy with is the saw did shut off once and I couldn't figure out why. And when you pull the trigger, it still wouldn't kick back on. And I thought that some kind of thermal protection was already kicking on with it. I noticed that the chain brake had been activated the saw won't run and it won't try to start or anything if that brake is on. But I don't know if I hit it or exactly what happened, but evidently somehow I bumped it, but I turned it back on and the saw worked fine from there on. I didn't think I'd cut enough in order for it to warm up or you know to get the battery hot or the motor either one. So I knew that surely it couldn't have been a thermal protection or anything like that kicking on. But you know, I kicked the chain brake off and it started working fine again. And I sawed right through this stuff and, you know, worked fine. So, but only time will tell about how this saw will hold up. So guys, subscribe to the channel and follow along with us as we put both the 80 volt and the 40 volt through a series of rigorous tests to just see how well they hold up to that commercial grade that Harbor Freight is claiming. So if you like videos like this, make sure you click that thumbs up button, subscribe, share them with everybody you know, and thanks for watching.